hey guys what's up today gonna be a video of showing you guys the important stuff to know about your car if you're planning to buy if you're planning to buy one like this and this is a hyundai elantra this is the 2019 but also the 2018 and the 2019 is the same car so this will be for both of them the important stuff you should know about your cars when you're gonna purchase one of these cars all right so let's walk around the vehicle just to show you what you get when you purchase this and i'm going to show you stuff like how to check your windshield washer fluid and check your engine oil and how to jump your cars and basically important stuff you should know name a few components underneath the hood how to get into your hood so those are the stuff i'm going to show you and those are the stuff you should know when you buy buying or own one of these cars you should know the basic stuff so let's start from here you're gonna have a basic turn um you're gonna have a basic mirror there's no turn signal on this one on this trim but there's some trim that have turn signal this one comes with blind spot monitoring system so it will warn you if a car is in your blind spot your blind spot is anywhere from here go all the way back to like here where you can't see in your mirror unless you physically turn your head it's going to give you a warning for that and how that do how that warn you is because they have a radar sensor right here behind the bumper so you can see it so that shoots some beams out here and to detect any object in your blind spot all right let's go ahead and walk around to the front of the car this is all your headlamps stay you're gonna have your daytime running lamp right here you're gonna have your high and your low beam in this projector light right here and down here you're gonna have your down here you're gonna have your your turn signal and fog lamp if your car come equipped with a fog lamp but this one doesn't so you only have your turn signal right there that's your grill, front grill right here, and your basic arm sign. This is the regular sign because this one does not have the adaptive cruise control. And here, same thing on this side. Also, however, this one have a camera right there, as you can see. That to help um, for if you swerving or going over in your lane, so lane departure warning that will um let you know what's going on that you're crossing the lane and so let's come around to the vehicle that's about it let's check go ahead and check the um you have also have a camera right here that's where your backup camera is you have regular tail lamp regular allergen bulb for your park tail for your park lamp and also for your turn signal you got regular bulb for your your um your tag light you have in the bumper you're gonna have your reverse light down here one right there one right there along with some bumper reflector come around so you want to know how to check your tire size on your vehicle you want to go ahead and open the driver door and right here you will have the readout of the size tire it take so on the front it take 205 55 16 r16 and in the rear it take the same size tire all right so this is a 16 inch tire the other um, model the upper trim gonna have like um 18 inch rims so this is your tire right here and to read your size the read the tire the size of the tire you're gonna find this 205 55 R. R is for the size of the rim, and 16 is the size of the rim. So R16 stand that's the rim right there. Okay, so let's get on the inside. Before we get on the inside, let's go ahead, open the hood. So to open your hood, you're gonna come right here, pull this lever right here, go in the front. And then in here, you want to pull that back right there. 
and then this you want to hook this into here like that so to open the hood after you pull the lever you want to pull this like this so you can see what it do when you do like that and then this comes right here and hook like this and then you can lift the hood up let's start from the right side of the vehicle work our way over to the left side so back here you're gonna have your ABS control module along so along in one unit as with your ABS pump and right here gonna be a low side for your you're gonna be your low side for your um your AC port this is gonna be your oxygen sensor the upstream one and there's a second oxygen sensor back down and this is your exhaust manifold right there over here you're gonna have your motor mount your windshield washer so if you want to add windshield washer fluid you go ahead open this add fluid in it so right here you're gonna have your belt run along all these components right here so this is gonna be your alternator right here this is gonna be your idle pulley that right there gonna be your water pump below down there will be your AC compressor all right and from right here to right here is your engine all right right here to right here is your engine this is your engine your intake manifold this is your runner arm sensor and also this is your throttle body this is your intake tube this is your air filter housing and inside there by pulling these two tab right here you will find your your intake filter your intake air filter your air engine air filter you just go ahead to replace them so this is your radiator reservoir our coolant reservoir this is your radiator filler neck you would never want to open this take off your radiator cap unless the vehicle is cold so I recommend doing it in the morning to check your radiator to check your oil you want to pull the engine dipstick out you want to wipe it off and then read it and then put it back in and then pull it out again and then wipe it off if you short an oil go ahead turn this like this corner clockwise remove your oil cap you can add oil in it and this take 5w20 <clears throat> I would recommend if you're gonna put any oil put full synthetic if you want to change your own oil so coming over you have your battery right here to jump your car you want to go ahead and remove this right here and pull up on this just like this and this is your negative cable as you see the minus sign this is your positive cable as you see the plus sign so you connect your positive right here and your negative right here connect it to the other car in the same way or whatever or a source you have to jump your car so you connect positive to positive negative to negative i'll go ahead and put that back this is your brake reservoir done this right here is your um your sensor to tell you if you have low brake fluid in here your brake fluid shouldn't be low if you don't have any leaks so if your brake fluid is low and that sensor come on that means you have a leak are your pads are, are really really low and it's time for a brake um change and this will be your master cylinder your brake master cylinder and that i'm gonna go ahead and crank the vehicle up so these are your ac control you can turn it all the way up turn it down you can adjust where you want it if you want it to blow on your feet and in your face at the same time or blow on your feet only or that to blow on the windshield and your feet and that to just blow on the windshield only so just leave it leave it to the upper vent that's right here right here is your climate control make sure this is on when your ac is on because if it's not on you won't get any cold here so you want to press that make sure a light is right there all right and this is to have the air circulate throughout the car right here you're gonna have your sun visor with a mirror you don't get any light you got an eyeglass pocket right here over here another mirror um sun visor with a mirror here you have a nice size glove box here you have 
your center console you get two cup holder right here here you get two power outlet and a usb drive for your um your android auto or upper car play so this car does come with android auto or upper car play so let's go ahead and put it in reverse check out the quality of the camera the ch quality of the camera is on the dull side but you can work with that so this camera up here is over is is go along with this right here so this mark the line in the road so once you press that button you can turn it on and off all right the attraction control right here off and on you can bright up your cluster up and down like that and these are your cruise control to turn on your cruise you just want to press the cruise set whatever speed you're going you can also hit cancel then you can hit resume to pick up at the speed you can press cruise to turn it back off all right guys so let's go ahead and drive the car and you guys can also ask me what you want to see in any video that i'm doing because i'm gonna start doing videos like these and i'm also gonna start going going to honda to do video even though this is a hyundai but i'm gonna start going to honda to do videos on the car so you guys can let me know what you would like to for me to um say in the video or look for in the video put on my seatbelt So this is the regular transmission as I can feel it and it's a four cylinder 2.0 engine so this is not for speed it's just a car to get you around town and save gas while doing it so the inside the noise ain't that too bad on the inside you can have a nice conversation with your companions when you're riding in this car you don't have to talk extra loud is the main one in life so that will come on if you have your door open or anything this it's on because the right front bulb is not working the right front turn signal bulb so we're going to get on it and see the power that um that you have This one is not for speed but it's a nice little comfortable ride to get around this is your interior this is what it look like down here will be your fuse box right here along with your obd2 there's another fuse box right here all right guys Also, I'm going to get my phone, I'm going to plug it into the, the USB to show you the Android, how the, the Android auto work in this one. And if you don't, if you have an Apple phone, it's the same procedure. Once you plug it in, they're going to come up. Alright guys, so what we're gonna do now we're gonna test the we're gonna test the the lane departure warning see what that goes like 
there's a car beside me so I'm gonna slow down so you can see that light come up so you can see the light and the mirror right there and then go away so let's go ahead and test the lane departure warning get it up to like 45 so now it turned green so now it's watching the lane so if we go say we're gonna drift over the lane and see what happened you can see it tells you to keep your hand on the steering wheel and it nudge you back into the center of the lane but it doesn't keep you in the center okay you will go over on the other side you see so like that so that's how it works so if you're driving on the highway or so it will let you know hey you going across the lane So let's demonstrate that one more time. Let it go over, nudge you back. So I'll keep my hand there, it'll feel it nudge you back. And it will flash when you're going over there. So that's it for this one guys when i come back i'm gonna um when i reach to the shop i'm gonna go ahead and plug the usb plug my phone in so you guys can just have a little preview of the the um the android auto and don't forget to please like comment share subscribe leave in the comment i always answer my comments so we can go down there and have a full com conversation in the comment section. Stuff you would like me to talk about. And if I miss anything, you can let me know down there, alright? Alright guys, so to set up your Android Auto, you want to get your USB and plug it in. I want to plug it in the USB right there you want to get your phone and plug it in if you have a newer phone you're you don't you won't require to to um you won't require to download android auto and make sure you have a capable usb because i just find out that this usb won't do the android auto so i'd have to go get the one from my car I'm gonna get the one from my car and then come back and try it all right guys so once you get a compatible USB so you know you I plugged it in and then this screen gonna pop up right here and then you would um, you, would, you would go ahead and click connect right or continue right there and everything will set up in the Android Auto. So once that is done, so now it's playing the music I last played on my phone. So once that is done, you can press, cause it, you have home, so it's gonna be like this right here. You can press Android Auto right there, or you can press the menu and go to Android Auto. And then you're gonna show a map like that. So, as you can see, that's not bad right there. So now you have a map and everything. All right, guys, that's it for that one. You can play music from it also. The music is playing. So, um, that's it for this one, guys. Please go ahead, like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. Help me help you. Peace out. See you next time.